Hello, and welcome to NetApp KB TV. My name is John Ross, and I am a Senior Technical Support Engineer at NetApp. In this video, I will demonstrate the procedure to resolve the storage port not found error in Storage Replication Adapter 2.1. This video is based on the KBID 2019534. I'm going to run a test failover as the array managers and protection groups have already been set up. I'm not going to replicate recent changes to recovery site as a snap mirror update is not needed to demonstrate this. As you can see, our test failover has ended in error with failed to create snapshots of replica devices in the task list. From the history tab, I can view the report. If we scroll down in the report, we can see our error is failed to create snapshots of replica devices, SRA command, test failover start failed, storage port not found. Either storage port information provided in the NFS list in the Array Manager is incorrect, or verify the is IPv4 option in the ONTAP config file is set correctly. Here on the SRA server, I'm going to show you how to access the ONTAP config file. Open Windows Explorer, the install drive, program files, VMware, VMware vCenter Site Recovery Manager, storage, SRA, CMODE, ONTAP. We can see the ONTAP config file here. Edit this with WordPad, and down towards the bottom of the file, you can find the is IPv4 option. The default is set to yes, which is correct for most environments. I'm now going to open On Command System Manager. This is the recovery cluster. In this case, the test failover ended in error as management access is set to yes on the vServer's NFS LIF. The firewall policy should be set to data or SRA will assume that it is being used for management. I've SSH'd into the cluster and you can see the firewall policy I've modified for this demonstration. Now we're going to change it back to data. If we refresh the view in On Command System Manager, we can now see the management access is set to no. I will now run the test failover again with the firewall policy set to data. The test failover now completes successfully. This concludes my demonstration of 2019534. Thanks for watching.